what's up guys I am back yesterday I was going to film I kind of filmed like a quick little update for you guys and then I was going to film a um, I was going to film a like what's in my hospital bag and then my camera died and my well my battery died so I was charging my battery and it takes forever and I ended up getting sidetracked and I never finished filming the video. So now I'm finishing the video. I'm gonna get some light in here. Uh, my bag is just like a an Adidas duffel bag and it's overflowed. I haven't like really like packed it, packed it, so I'm just gonna take stuff off the top, starting from the top, and then um yeah, I'm gonna start taking stuff off the top and show you guys what I'm bringing. I'm probably overpacking. That's fine. I have no idea what to expect, how long I'll be there for, and I just want to be comfortable. So yeah, let me, let's just get started. And maybe doing all this will help me like get everything organized. So I did a bunch of laundry. I'm going to start off with like clothes that I, that I'm wearing or that I plan to wear maybe. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be hot or like uncomfortable so I bought a pair of these like shorts that I got from Marshalls a while ago. They're really like flowy and comfortable. I have a robe from Amazon that's like this pink color coming in the mail tomorrow, tomorrow actually. So it's just like a light pink robe that I could probably wear like over this and then I, yeah. I'm not going to tell you what else I got because you're going to see it. Uh, for my baby shower, I was gifted a pair of Lululemon leggings. They were a size 4, but I actually went and got a size 6 because I know with like postpartum, my belly isn't going to be... I'm still going to look like I'm 6 months pregnant, so I want to be able to wear leggings. Not so much my maternity leggings because... My maternity leggings go up so high, and I have very sensitive skin, and it's caused a lot of back acne for me, and I'm very oily, so I've had really bad back acne my whole entire pregnancy, and I'm hoping that maybe these will help me feel like more secure, um, but I, I doubt I'm going to wear these like going home or in the hospital. Just brought them just in case. And then I bought a pair of sweatpants. I got them from Target the other day. We had a Target gift card, so I bought myself a couple pair of sweats because I know I'll be living in them after I have the baby and when I'm home. And then I also bought another pair of sweat. Well, I bought a couple pair, but these are the only two that I'm bringing. Um, they're pink, they were on sale. They have a little stripe down the middle. They're also joggers. Uh, they're super, super comfortable and stretchy. They're super cute. They were like $11, I think. And then I ordered a pair of slippers on Amazon, just like cheap slippers. I think these were like $12. My feet have swelled really, really bad. And um, I am originally a size 7.5 but I think that these are an eight and these are like a an eight and a half to nine and a half. They're just like a little big just because I know that my feet will probably even swell more in the hospital and I don't want to I probably won't bring these home or I'll just throw them out because the hospital is dirty and disgusting. So I tried them on. Super comfortable. And then let's see what else I got here. I have a couple nursing bra. I have a couple nursing bras. Actually, I'm going to go get them and show you guys what I'm, I'm bringing those to just in case. But I got this one the other day at Target too when I was shopping. I am very picky about bras. I don't like when the straps are super tight in the back and it's like squeezing my back. I've gained almost 40 pounds this whole pregnancy so I have like I'm a little bit squishier in areas and like wider in areas than I normally am not so I wanted a thick 
like back bra which is it has three and it's really really thick um, and really comfortable and I got a size large it's Auden A-U-D-E-N I just got it in the maternity area and it's just it's got pads but they're built in and they're not like really uncomfortable it's just like the whole bra and it's just like a liner it's super comfortable this is like a muted pink or a tan I don't, I'm not sure but clearly I'm having a girl because I did not mean to like mix and match everything like light pinks and tans and all that and then I also got oh my gosh <laughs> I'm so weird this is everything I have in here is pink so I this is a new day I found this on a sale rack it was like not even $20 I think it was $15 and it's just like a long cardigan and I'll show you guys as you can tell I'm like I love cardigans they keep me so warm and cozy it's like the perfect it's like a waffle material and it's not like itchy or anything but I can just see myself with like a tank top on or even like this shirt on and just like lounging in the hospital and just like being warm it's long and it's so comfy so I had to get that I just I love cardigans in the winter or like in general I'm always wearing them and it's hard to find like a good material I had to get this I paid full price for this I didn't care because I'm gonna wear this after pregnancy too thought it was super cute I love tie-dye I kind of grew out of like the color tie-dye but they had this it's an extra large my belly is I wanted to wear this like maybe going into the hospital or going home but it can just be like a huge like jazz, um, sweater for me. I like big sweaters anyways around the house. So this I can definitely wear after pregnancy too. And of course it's freaking pink and white. <laughs> I They didn't have any other colors I saw and it instantly caught my eye. It is the Isabel Maternity brand. I got an extra large. I think I tried on a large. But like my belly still popped out. I don't know. It was really weird. It's kind of like, it's more form fitting than like loose and baggy. And that's why I got it extra large. And then in here I got some, where are they? Oh, in case I wanted to shower, I basically decluttered my whole basement and got rid of a bunch of shoes and clothes and stuff that I don't wear. And I stumbled upon these Old Navy flip-flops that I've never worn before. And I'm going to bring these to wear in case I take a shower because I heard that the hospital bathrooms are just gross. And plus, I'm really weird about showering in other places. I don't know how clean it is. I don't want my feet touching the bottom of like the hospital shower. I probably... Maybe won't even care because it's just my feet and I'll be like after having a baby. Maybe that's the last thing I'll care about, but I'm going to bring these just in case. And then I brought, I packed a couple pair of socks. These are like long comfy socks and these are just like black ankle socks. And then that I've had. And then I bought just like a couple pairs of like underwear that I usually like will will sleep in that I don't care about. Um, they're just all random underwear that I've had. And I brought them because I, I might stop at the store and get like my own Depends. But I heard from a lot of people and watching these videos that the underwear that the hospital gives you after having the baby is so big that it's also can be more uncomfortable than comfortable and you may not feel secure in it so i may go buy myself a pair of like a package of those depends that are like the tan color they have like the little flowers on it and then i decided to bring these in case i never i, I don't end up doing it for or i forget or something and I can just put these over my underwear just to feel like more tight and secure but I don't know what mood I'll be in so I brought these just in case and then I'm gonna go get those bras that I was talking about because they're a must 
Okay. So I got a package of these bra maternity bras um, a couple, I want to say like a couple months ago because none of my sports bras were fitting me anymore. They were just super tight and super uncomfortable. And the only reason why I got that one is just because this, I don't know if you can tell how it's like the wrap, but because my boobs are so like enlarged, this kind of like folds down and it's not really supportive, I guess you can say. Um, it's just kind of like a loose material, it's like a really comfy bra to wear around. I got this in tan and in black, so I will definitely be bringing both of those to the hospital along with that tan one that or that pinkish one that I bought. Um, I just wanted one with straps so I can like clip it, unclip it and like nurse or move that one over to the side. I don't know. I don't have any, I didn't buy any nursing tank tops. I probably should. I might get those on Amazon, but if I don't, I'm not too worried about it. I'll probably end up wearing one of the nursing bras with like my robe. So I brought, I have this for my toiletries. I've just had this bag for the longest time. I got it for Christmas for my mom a couple years ago. And it's like my travel bag that I always use. And I've got a lot of stuff in here. This is just for me, honestly. My husband has his own, but I did go to the Target dollar section and get all this stuff. So in case I wanted to shower, I got like an up and up loofah, Pantene, shampoo. And then I bought my Dove Sensitive Skin Bar Soap. I washed my face, my neck, my chest, my back, this only, and I have for years. So I'm bringing a package of this. I know I probably won't be, you know, TMI washing anything down there except for with that thing that they give me, but um, I'm gonna bring this for like my face. Even if I don't shower, you know, just to be on the safe side. I got wet cleansing towelettes, makeup remover, and just to freshen up my face or whatever I need them for. I got, where is it? A toothbrush and toothpaste. This is dry shampoo. I actually forgot that I got this in case I don't shower. I do get super greasy and if I'm taking pictures, I may just want to like touch up my roots. So I got dry shampoo. I don't really use, I, I don't think I've ever really used dry shampoo, but if I'm in the hospital and I don't want to shower, then I will do that, use that. I got Listerine. I wasn't going to get this, but I did watch a hospital, what's in my hospital bag video, and a girl brought it. She said in case like she gets sick or something or she like throws up and she needs like rinse her mouth out that's like such a good idea because I bought I did bring like gum to chew on because gum helps me with like nausea and stuff so I don't know like if I'm gonna be sick or nauseous or anything like that hopefully not but I did bring spearmint gum which works better for me than peppermint I hate peppermint and then I got the Listerine just in case and then I got hand lotion or body lotion. I probably, like I put lotion all over my body, but I should have maybe gotten two of these, but I'm, I know that I'm probably gonna get super dry. So I bought lotion, hand lotion, deodorant, just like a little thing of deodorant, hand sanitizer, and then I got two things of chapstick, my Carmex, and then like my color, my Burt's Bees. I use it for like color on my lips. It really helps. I don't really wear like a lot of lipstick. I wear lots of chapstick. And this is like the pomegranate kind and it always puts like color on my lips. I have it on right now. I have it all over my house. So I have that. And then I had just had like a razor in here from like the last trip that I went on when I went on vacation. And then I also have these cotton rounds. I'm going to be bringing my witch hazel, so I use that on a daily basis, so I'll probably pack that last. That's on my list of like what to bring last minute, like what to pack last minute, along with like my husband's 
contact solution and then I brought like a baggie to put like all of our dirty clothes in. So yeah, that is most of my toiletry bag right there. Let me know if I'm forgetting anything. I, I still have some stuff that I'm like still gonna pack. Like my makeup, I'll bring my makeup in case. Probably won't end up doing my makeup at all, but that's completely fine. I'll probably put concealer on, but that is about it. Uh, so yeah, that's my toiletry bag. I don't know what's in here. Oh, I know what's in here. And then this is just like another random Clinique bag that I had laying around my house. I have a couple hair ties. I have two scrunchies because I've been loving scrunchies. They don't really like dent your hair as much as these little suckers. So two like scrunchies and a headband. Headbands don't fit my head weird. Like they slip off. So I don't really wear them. I have a thick gray headband like material that is actually in my washer right now because I wash my headbands because when your hair gets oily and they get stinky, um, I am washing that right now. So I will add that to this bag when it is done being washed. And then another random little baggie that I have in here has like random stuff in it. This actually has a bunch of like hard candy lifesavers. My mom got us a bunch of lifesavers in our Christmas stocking and because I probably won't be able to eat, I'll want, I've will been like craving like sour and sugar and like sweet stuff so I have some lifesavers to snack on. And then I also have like this like little wallet and I think it has a couple dollars and a bunch of change that I've been adding into it so my husband can get like snacks and stuff at the vending machine. Everyone tells me to like go shopping and like get snacks. They or like if they didn't, they wish that they did for like their husband. But honestly, I'm not going to do that. I just think that's too much. The hospital has freaking vending machines, and we're gonna have family and friends coming. So if he needs anything, they can bring it to, to him. I'm not gonna stress about bringing waters and water bottles and snacks I may regret saying that now so but I just honestly don't feel the need to pack snacks at all so yeah and then I also have an extension cord that I need to like roll up so a lot of people say that the hospital um, outlets are like super far away and you want to charge your phone and maybe I should have gotten like a longer extension cord I don't know this is just one that I had laying around my house I don't want to spend I in the beginning of my pregnancy I was like oh I need to have this hospital bag and I need to have this toiletry bag and I have to be all like fancy and have everything match honestly like now that I'm almost 38 weeks pregnant I'm gonna have this baby and she's gonna be here and I'm gonna regret spending hundreds of dollars on the look of things or buying brand new things when I don't need them. So I have this, like this is at my house. Maybe I'll bring another one for my husband. Um, probably I will because he's not gonna wanna like charge his phone next to my hospital bed. This is long, but it's not super long, but hopefully my phone will be charged. And yeah, so I'm gonna put that in there. And so yeah, that is, oh yeah, and then this, whoa, this is a huge white blanket from Ralph Lauren that I got from our wedding shower. Everyone says bring your own blankets and pillows, and I'm going to do that. <laughs> So that's why I think we might get like a bigger bag. I want to be warm. Maybe I'll be so freaking hot I won't need it. Ow. And now we can get started on her stuff that I'm bringing. I may be all bad and bougie bringing her the stuff that I'm putting her in, but I don't know how big she's going to be, what she's going to fit in, if she's going to spit up all over everything. 
um, what's going to fit her. So I'm bringing a couple options. I may bring more than what I just have now, but this is what I packed the other day. So I obviously have a pair of white socks. I know the hospital will probably put socks on her. I'm not sure. I heard that they have onesies and stuff for the babies. So what time is it? 11.48. But yeah, I don't know what they're going to provide for me there. So I'm just going to bring a bunch of my own stuff. But I got her a pair of socks. And I got her two. Did I get two of them? Yeah, I think so. Or maybe not. Yeah, two newborn onesies. White newborn onesies. Because I don't know, like... I just don't know. Maybe like one for when she's like first born and they clean her up and if they don't put her... I heard that they put them in like those long sleeve like onesies that snap on the side. But I brought two newborn onesies. One for when she comes home and one to have like one to change into. And then I bought a zero to three month onesie in case the newborn onesies are too small. I don't know. I'm just being an overly prepared mother that's new new mom. And then I also have these like I have these in gray and in black for her. I thought the gray were cute because it matches her going home outfit that I have. So these are just newborn pants that she can wear with socks and a onesie and the one of the onesies that I got her so this says welcome home and I thought it was really really cute and it would it's gray and it will match with like her little pants and her socks I thought it was so freaking cute so yeah that is her one of her going home outfits and then my whole pregnancy it was weird I don't know if I told you guys the story but um at a, an appointment with one of the midwives and she called her baby bunny or like bun bun and then I want to say like around like 20 weeks my aunt started calling her baby bunny we're gonna call her bunny and that like just like totally like clicked I was like oh my god the nurse just one of the midwives just called her little bun bun and she was the first doctor that like made me feel like I'm actually like growing a human because she was like kicking and moving and we knew it we knew her gender so it was just like really special that a doctor like made her like a human to me like made it seem like oh my god like I'm actually carrying a human and then a family friend dropped off a gift to me and it was a Beatrix Potter theme like really classy it was just fancy baggy with like the paper and it was had a bunny on it and I said to my mom like this is just her theme is bunny now because we didn't really have a theme for her so Carter's had the most adorable bunny set and this says freaking baby bunny and my aunt calls her baby bunny we all call her baby bunny so I bought that with matching pants they have a freaking bunny on the butt so baby bunny so she could be wearing that outfit when she comes home or the gray outfit when she comes home and then this and then maybe I'll put a sleeper in there not sure because I also have one more outfit for her that I want to show you guys that I'm so flippin' excited about it's not even funny so typical ty whoa <laughs> typical you know bougie new first-time mom I went on Lulu and company actually when I first found out I was pregnant, I wanted, I knew I wanted to buy her a swaddle set. So I ordered her this one on Caden and Lane, which is so freaking cute. Zero to three month ties in the thing. I already washed it. And so I may bring this, not a hundred percent sure if I'm going to bring it, but it's in her newborn drawer just in case. But then I just was kind of getting sick of the print because she's going to be born in February. And not like this is February or anything, but it's more just like neutral. And then we picked out her name. So I just thought that obviously with like 
the color. I think her name fits perfect with like her theme and everything. So I went on Lulu and Company and there's so many to choose from, but this one is my favorite. As you can tell, I really love this color. It has the little, little mittens. So this is like the little swaddle. It's on her, everything's laid out on her changing table right now because I don't want to put it in the drawers. It smells like draft and it's just so clean and I don't want to... The drawers are new so they kind of smell like new furniture and I'm just so freaking weird. I just want it to smell like baby so when I go into labor, you know, I'll just shove it in there. But then it came with, I think it's called the Ultimate Newborn set or something. It comes with that sleeper. It comes with little mittens. A bow or a hat, but I picked the one that had a bow. This is going to be like her announcement outfit. And then a big wrap. Like a big comfy like blanket wrap. So I'm really, really excited. It gets so big. I'm not going to even open it, but yeah. This is all from Lulu and Company. I definitely plan on buying more. I wish I just bought a couple more swaddles. She doesn't have that many blankets. She has a lot of muslin blankets and not like comfy blankets. And a lot of them that I love are like boy blankets. There's this one at Target that I love and it says like I love you on it but the back of it is blue. Not that it matters but I just want her to have some like comfy fleece blankets that she can have for like a really long time and I just can't find any but I do have one actually that I found that I got from my shower that my friend got her. So if you guys know where I can get any like cute fleece blankets that I can just like put on her car seat or for her to like just have around she may not need it or for me to like wrap her up in that'd be nice because like these places do get really expensive this all of what I just got was $72 with like tax and shipping my grandmother got it for her as a gift and then just that swaddle set from Caden like well, I don't know why I'm calling it a swaddle set just like the sleeper like the tie knot gown um, that was like $38 just for that. So it's very soft and very comfortable, but very, very, very expensive. So, and now to my husband's, not really interesting. It's going to be really quick, but I got him a pair of sweats, um, a pair of underwear, and like a tank. He likes to wear those little ribbed tanks. Actually, two pairs of underwear in case he shits himself poops himself <laughs> because he gets very nervous <laughs> and so yeah I don't know if he, he says he's like I'm not gonna shower I don't need a shower I can go days without showering well you're gonna want to freshen up who knows how long I'm gonna be in the hospital for a pair of ankle socks and I didn't know like what he wanted to wear for like shirt wise like if we were taking pictures so I got him like a plain black v-neck I got him some black shorts in case he's hot. He's a guy, like guys get hot. And then just like this random gray like mane, it says mane on it. It's like a t-shirt his sister got him when she went on like a trip. It's just, so, you know, he could sleep in it. And then his daddy shirt from when we had our gender reveal. So I thought that would be cute if he could wear, if he wanted to wear that. And then his bag has, I'm not going to take them out, two white towels and two washcloths for us in case we wanted to shower. So yeah, that's all I packed for him. Who knows what we'll use or what he'll use. And then in here, I got him his toiletry bag. Well, it's not really a bag, it's like in a pocket. I got Tums because he always has Ajita. So he always gets Aj when he's nervous he has Aj. He always, when he eats something he gets Aj. So who knows if I'm going to have Aj and he's going to have Aj. We both are going to need Tums. So I got a freaking big thing of Tums. I do have to add Pepto and 
I think I'm going to put some Pepto and um, what else is those tablets that you can take when you have like indigestion. Yeah, he's going to need that because he, who knows. I also got him a loofah, a toothbrush, his manly man soap body wash, his head and shoulders shampoo, and this is a freaking other thing of toothpaste. I don't know why. Toothpaste is in here. So, yeah, that's what he has so far. I'm going to go add some more tongs to that. We have like a bunch of we have a bunch of like ant ant acid stuff in our house. So, yeah, that is his hospital bag so far. He has a lot more room, so I think I'm just going to put my stuff in there. I'm not sure. So, yeah, that is about it. And I also wanted to update you guys. This is going to be a freaking long video. I also wanted to update you guys and tell you that last night... Oh my god, he's home. Last night, I... What? Was having, like, cramps. Like, very light cramps. It only lasted for, like, ten minutes. But, um, yeah. So, that is where we are at. I was kind of hoping it was labor, but... It only lasted like 10 minutes and I never had cramps like that before. So they're kind of uncomfortable, but they went away. And she's gonna freaking bark as he's backing in to the driveway. So yeah, I'm glad that I filmed that video. I also need to like give you guys a nursery update, but we have company over now. And I'm not going to be able to do it. So I will probably do it later tonight. So I will talk to you guys in a few hours. I hope, and if I miss anything, please let me know. Um, I could really use advice on stuff of what I'm missing. So I will see you guys soon. Bye. This is just what I have so far. Some things are staying, some things are going, some things are not going to stay like this. So, um, this is what her room looks like. That is the Mama Roo that we haven't put together, and this is a swing that we have not put together for her yet. Um, we also have one that was given to us so that's basically brand new in our basement. Um, this is a quick glimpse of what it looks like. I'm obsessed with it. And we're gonna put this under here. My husband likes to check his weight because he's a freak. But yeah, so let's get started for here. Um, this is a sign that I got at Home Goods, one of the first things that I bought for her. Before you were born, I set you apart, which is actually a Bible verse which I didn't know. I thought it was just the sweetest thing. It went with our theme. It was cute, so we did that. Uh, this is a white ladder that I've had for years in my apartments, in my rooms. Needs to be repainted, but we put it here to hide this like little ugly thing that's like that goes out into like our tub in case there's like flooding. This is a little Thing that I got for one of my showers it was from my wedding shower my bridal shower and I put these are like some of her stuffed animals she has so many freaking stuffed animals they're in there and what else don't mind this mess I have to put these clothes away and I filmed all of that so that's why that looks like that this is her crib it is the baby Leto Hudson it's in white Super easy to build. Love it. And then this is the Baby Leto mattress. We do not have crib sheets yet. I haven't found ones that I love that like match her room. I don't know if it, it doesn't really matter obviously, but whatever. These are her two little bunnies. Her Docatot. Got that for a shower. And the baby boppy, like sit up boppy. That is in here as well and then her baby by Kira blanket I got that as a gift by one of my friends who knows I'm obsessed with 
YouTube and she gets me. So she bought a, her, she bought the baby a gray waffle. I think it's the marshmallow one. This is before we knew the gender. So yeah, I love this blanket. I'm obsessed with it. And then onto the wall. We have to patch those. We had the owlet and my husband put it right here. And then we realized, well, I realized that I didn't want the outlet because it didn't have an actual monitor. You had to like pull it up on your app. Like if you wanted to check on the baby, you had to like actually open your phone and I just want a monitor, which is right there. And then when we got her, that camera, which is the V tech, I'll have to show you guys. I'll link everything below, but yeah, he put it there and it just didn't look right because of like all her cute little paintings or her little pictures. So we put it in the corner because I don't want her to grab it when she gets older, you know? And we might move these down so we could put her name up there. So, yeah. And then we, my mom got her these. I'll have to ask her where she got them. I'll link them down below. And my friend got her that from Pottery Barn. It's a bunny rocker. So freaking cute. And then this is her bookshelf. This was my bookshelf growing up. It was over there with all the Graco stuff and the mom room, but we moved it in here. This can be like her little reading nook. I do want to get a chair for her that has her name on it from Pottery Barn. That's Mother Goose. She tells you about six stories. She's freaking adorable and I love her. And we got all these books for our showers. I asked everyone to bring a book instead of a card and they delivered. Um, this table has a bunch of shit on it, but I sit here every single day and I just think and ponder what I need. <laughs> and this table is like a marble table. It was from Home Goods. Sturdy. And this is her little lamp from Home Goods as well. And yeah. Then we got this rocking chair from his aunt. And it comes with this. This was his cousin's. And we didn't want to like buy one and she gave it to us and it ended up matching like her room perfect. So we took it and cleaned it and it is brand new. It's the comfiest chair in the whole entire world. We love it. And then this dresser we got from Ikea. We had to build it <laughs> and it came with black knobs and I ordered gold knobs on Amazon. I love them. This turned out perfect and I'm just obsessed with it. And it ha I have more than enough storage. The drawers are huge. <laughs> I also wanted to show you guys her drawers quick before I end the video. Um, in here is... Actually, I don't know what I should put in here. Maybe I'll put those with her other stuff. But in here is like her shoes and like slippers and stuff. And these like cute little like bandana bibs that I washed along with hats that were washed and some mittens and then ba way back here are all of her headbands and socks and like little these like little booties should probably go here but whatever so yeah those are like all her socks i wanted to get one of those cute little like hangy things for all her headbands and like maybe use it like hang hang it somewhere like in her room i see i saw like okay baby do that with the baby's headbands in a while ago. And then in here is her newborn drawer, like clothes wise. Like these are all of her shirts. These are just, yeah, these are just shirts. So like these are all newborn shirts and then newborn pants and newborn white onesies. And then in this drawer is empty. Clearly this was like a bath drawer. These are just like, these have her washcloths in here. Maybe I won't even put those in there. Maybe I'll put them with like in here. Because all of her bath stuff is like in our linen closet. So that's empty. 
Uh, down here, these are all of her newborn sleepers. Except for this, this is zero to three. This is a um, a tie swaddle thing that I got her, a knotted gown. But these are all of her newborn sleepers that we have for her that I washed and folded up. Um, and here are all of her swaddles, like her muslin swaddles. So I have all these washed and they're in these like bins. And then these are like the Velcro. These are the Velcro swaddles. These are blank this and this is a blanket. I don't know if I want to keep those in here. I want to order um I want to order like a basket to put all of her blankets and stuff in. I do have like a section in her closet that I could put them for now. And then here is like a sleeper and then this is like her sleep sack. But they're like kind of big. They're like zero to three and then the sleep sack is like a three month old so I don't know if she's going to fit in that but we'll see. And then down here is her zero to three month bin. This has all of her zero to three month like long sleeve and short sleeve onesies and then these are her just like plain white onesies. These are all her zero to three sleepers and these are all her zero to three pants. Zero to three and three month pants. Um, just because I could probably use this right now for them because I don't have. I have to order more of these. I only got like a 12 pack just to see, like, I only ordered one to see, like, what I would need them for. So, yeah, these are zero to three and three month in there. And then the last drawer is all of her like bigger clothes so back here is like three to six and six month and then here is three to six month all of like her shirts and sleep and leg like onesies um this is three to six these are three to six pants and these are three to six like getting into like actual clothing not like babies you know these are like shirts and stuff, like not sleepers. But yeah, um, this is just everything that I'm going to need within the next um, three to six months. Just some of them, actually. I just got this bin from our basement. Actually, you want to know, I'm putting blankets in here. That's what I'm going to do. And then this rug, I can't remember where it's from. I'll have to look at my order, and I'll link everything down below. That's a dog. He's for sale. Just kidding. Um, and then I'm trying to think of what else. Oh yeah, so we went shopping for stuff for my shower for, our, and we, my grandma and I, ended up finding that mirror, that picture, this table, and that lamp. So we bought that. Though those were like her first nursery items. Um, and then. So yeah, that's where the whole theme kind of started. I knew I wanted like a gold theme though, like a gold, white, and pink. Um, and then these curtains are from Amazon. They're like a muted pink. Love them. And th this golden rod, this is also from Amazon. Love them and they kind of like match the knobs on her dresser which is so freaking cute i'm just obsessed not important okay um what else do 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 so yeah so and then this is a this was in my room growing up so it needs to be repainted but yeah, then and here's her closet. This just has some stuff hanging. I'm not going to go into detail, but these are all like bigger clothes of hers that she's not going to be able to fit in right away. Um, her car seat, her baby Bjorn, another little storage thing. Um, a car seat base that needs to go in my car. And then in here is like a junk drawer right now. 
you know, just some random stuff. This chair I'm going to return because I don't really like it. It's like a Paris theme and it doesn't really match. So I'm going to return that. So, yeah. Um, but this is her nursery. It's kind of messy. I'll do a better picture of it when I'm done. So yeah. Thank you.